Hello. Today I want to talk a little bit about your independent reading and how to write a good response so that I have a little window into your reading experience. So today I just finished reading Chapter 7 of Miracles Boys. Uh, you can see I have my snacks when I'm done reading or while I'm reading and um, I'm about to write my response. So the difficult part is like what do I write about? And how do I do a good job on this? So first, I know I have to decide what part of the chapter I want to respond to. So I'm just going to focus on chapter seven and I can write about a lot of different things. So this is kind of what's hard because I have to choose. But as a reader, I have to sort of decide what's important instead of having the teacher tell me what I'm supposed to pay attention to. So you can decide. Do you want to talk about your characters, the author's writing, the setting, a big question? a discovery, why it's important. I just know I have to choose something I can actually say something about. Um, I can interpret something, give reasons, wonder, and why it's important. Something about and why it's important. So here's a few things. Why is this part important to who the character is becoming? The main character, his name is Laugh. Um, most of this book is about you know his mom who died and how uh, and how she died, and we're figuring out what happened and why Laugh is um, having such a hard time during his grief. Why the chapter is important to the overall story? Well, this chapter we find out what actually happened to the mom, so that's important. Why does the character, or how does the character interaction move the story forward? Well, there's an older brother, and he's kind of being really supportive, so I could write about that. What theme is developing in the scene and how? Well, I think it's about um, how human beings are uh, recovering from their grief. What subject about human beings is being explored in this scene? Well, the subject is grief, but also responsibility, so I could talk about those. Or what figurative language is the author using and why? That this author uses a lot, so I could actually talk about any of these, but I just have to talk about something. So. Uh, because I know I need a quote, I'm just going to go to the last page I read so I don't have to like sift through everything and try to find something there. So I read the last page, I reread the last two pages closely, um, and this part kind of struck me, so I want to write about this. The rain was tapping hard against the window like somebody trying to get my attention, like somebody trying to get inside. So I feel like this is a really important end to the chapter and I want to kind of explore why this might be important. So I'm going to write my response about that. So for writing my response, I know I have to start with a, a response or a question or a claim. I have to give a quote and a page number and then I just have to explain how everything fits together. So I'm going to say, Laugh does not want to remember the day his mom died, but he's realizing that he can't keep it inside. For example, he's saying how he tried not to think of anything, but the rain was like somebody trying to get my attention. The rain is personified because even nature knows that you can't ignore your pain forever. So I felt like this is a short, simple response, just kind of saying how, you know, he is at this point in the story where he doesn't want to think about what happened to his mom, but really until he thinks about it, he's not going to be healthier. He's not going to be happier. He's kind of holding on to it, pushing his pain down. Um, Okay, so there's my response. Three sentences. I could make it into two if I used a semicolon. <laughs> okay, so at the end of the week, um, am I practicing this? Can I, can I show that I could read and come up with something to say so I can kind of interacting with the text? So here's how you're being evaluated. At the end of the week, did you respond three times? Yes or no? In your claim or, or response, did you say something specific about the character setting, conflict theme, subject writing, yes or no? Now, sometimes I'm, I've been seeing responses that you could just write by reading the back of the book, not something inside specific. Um, so it's important that you go into the book and reread a page more closely and try to think about why it matters. And that's why the quote and the page number is important. So do you have a quote and a page number? Also, notice how the page number is here, parentheses. I don't have a P or a PG, and then the period goes after. And then did you explain how the example supports your response or claim? 
So you might say this shows, what this shows, this part is important because, or how this example shows it. So you can see here, the rain is personified because, so I'm sort of explaining my example here, okay? So I make my response, give an example that sort of proves that, and then connect my response and my example here. Okay, so if you have questions, I'm always sitting by the cafeteria during lunch, so you can come over and ask me and keep working on this and just try to make prog a little bit more progress each week. Thank you so much and happy reading.